Stevenson gets the 48-3 win over Albright here on homecoming, their fourth straight win. Glenn Clark with head coach Ed Hoddle. Uh, coach, let, let's go back a little ways, right? Like, it was a tough start to the season for this group. What is it about this group that they didn't blink and that they have been able to turn around and start playing the type of football that I know you want them to play? Well, I think it's – we just get better every day, you know, and, and I don't think there was ever a doubt in anybody's mind that what we're capable of. And I still – you know, even after today, I still don't think we're playing our best football. There's still some things we can clean up. But, um, you know, I think it's a resilient group, a group that believes in themselves and um, – you know, getting some guys some some much needed game experience has certainly helped as well. So, um, looking forward to the next four weeks for sure. A couple of things that stood out to me: Dion Richardson this season, he's now drawn the top coverage, and everybody's aware of him. And yet, he is still out there making play after play. Um, what is it about that man, that young man, that he handles those moments so well? Well, I mean, he was here all summer. You know, watching him work all summer and and, and build his body and. Um, I mean, he's just he's he's probably one of the most physical receivers we've had here. Um, so if you, you you put it anywhere in that radius, he's going to he's going to be able to come down with it. So, um, you know, it's interesting. You know, you watch guys try to, you know, play, play, you know, kind of over the top and underneath and do some different things. And he's able to make plays. And, um, you know, it's it, it, great kid, tremendous student. I shouldn't say kid. He's a grown man. Um, tremendous individual. Great student. You know, does everything right. He's one of those guys you, you want to take the load off of him during practice, and he fights you wow. to continue to practice. Um, very Chaz Lyles esque. Okay. If you remember Chaz, you know, and all the th different things we did with Chaz, same kind of mentality at practice. Wants to work, wants to work, wants to work. Hey man, you got got to dial you back a little bit. We're getting kind of late in the year, and and he didn't want to hear it. So it, you got to kind of steal his helmet from time to time. <laughs> so. Uh, the one down here to start the second half, that one will be a highlight that will show for a long time, that first touchdown. Um, Coach, the other thing is that after you get the big lead, then you the ability to just say, hey, we're coming at you, we're going to run the ball, and we're going to impose our will. Uh, you've had to do it with different backs this season, but how impressed have you been with your offensive line and with the run game in general being where you want it to be? Um, you, you know, that's something we talk about all the time, that physicality, um, the ability to move the ball, you know, to run the ball when people know we're going to run it, you know, is, is, is incredibly important. Um, you know, and that starts in the weight room. That starts with the work that goes on, you know, upstairs. Um, you know, and again, it's, it's a mentality. And, and, you know, it starts with recruiting the right guys, um, you know, guys that, that are from high schools that play a physical brand of football and, you know, bringing that, you know, to here to Stevenson. So um, super proud of those guys. And, and it, I think my favorite part is, you know, pulling out the one O line and putting in the number two O line and those guys still being able to grind out hard yards and big first downs, you know, to kind of close it out. Um, you know, that, that tells me that, you know, the future is bright for that group, which is exciting. And then the other guy that I wanted to bring up was your kicker, right? Who, you know, you get a new kicker this year and, <laughs> Six for six on extra points, makes a couple of field goals today. It feels like he's really settling into the role. Yeah, you know, I think probably, you know, obviously points are, are super important, but how many touchbacks did he have today? I don't think he had a, I, I don't think he had a single touchback all year, and he probably had four or five today. Um, really proud of his effort. You know, Donnie did a great job. Um, you know, I think he's he kind of one of those kids that kind of takes a lot of the pressure on himself to to be successful. And um, you know, he delivered today. You know, which was good. I think he hit a career long at 32, which um, you know, kind of helping working with him to build his confidence with decisions we make in game. And I know, you know, last week there were some instances where. Um, you know, people were like, well, why didn't you kick? You know, why'd you go for it on fourth down? Well, you know, you got to realize when you're talking about a, a first year starter, a kicker, and you're inside the 15 yard line on the right hash for a right footed kicker, that's a terribly hard kick to make. And, you know, we don't want to put him in that position. And then, you know, we had the same kick a little bit later in the game where he was on the left hash, which is a much easier kick for him to make. And, you know, and everything kind of fell right for him today. So he wanted to give him an opportunity to, to make some big kicks in front of a big crowd. And, and he delivered. So, you know, couldn't be more proud of him let's finish with that right like you, you mentioned it's always good to win on homecoming this day the weather couldn't be better you have a great crowd out here just a wonderful day to celebrate stevenson football no absolutely i mean it's it's i read a book years ago um it talked about stadium sizes and crowds and things and you know it's really cool when you look in the corners of the stadium and when the corners are full you know that it, it's a it's, it's a packed house and you know it's it's loud it's fun it's you know it's just it's just a great day it's a very good day. Back on the road next week. We'll see you back here in two weeks. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. He's Ed Hoddle. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.